Um, your reaction this morning to his passing. Thank you uh, for giving us this opportunity to extend our um, deepest condolences to the current president of uh, ZANU PF, Comrade Emerson Munangagwa, the generality of the people of Zimbabwe, and uh, those who loved uh, the former president, Comrade Araji Mugabe, uh, throughout the world and in the continent on his passing. It is a sad day that um, we have the founding father of Zimbabwe, a, a, a leader who had dedicated, uh, who dedicated most of his life to the liberation of uh, Zimbabwe and the, the emancipation and empowerment of the majority of the Zimbabweans as well as those that are in Africa. And um, he is a man that uh, many people revered for having stood side by side by many other revolutionaries that wanted to see the emancipation of the black people across the continent. Now, Mr. Mandaza, many people, of course, as you've seen world headlines today, uh, describing him, as you said, a freedom fighter and the founding father of Zimbabwean nation, and many people will remember him. I recall as a young journalist based in Radio Mozambique in Maputo in the 80s, just at the time of uh, Zimbabwe's independence, there was a lot of hope and optimism that Zimbabwe's independence was bringing to the anti-colonial struggle in the region and the liberation of the rest of the region, including the likes then of Namibia and then, of course, South Africa, which was in the hands of apartheid. But somewhere along the way, people today are also looking back and said, somewhere along the way the wheels came off. Where do you think it went wrong under his leadership? Uh, let, us, let me first of all say that um, the, the struggle for the liberation of Zimbabwe uh, was done as a collective. And uh, subsequent to that, the leadership also uh, was a collective leadership which was led by the former president, Comrade Araji Mugabe. And uh, we have so many things that we can celebrate uh, after uh, what he had done for, for, for the country and the people of Zimbabwe. Um, along the way, the only thing that we can therefore look at and say, um, what is it that he could have done differently? I think one of the greatest things that he should have done great, uh, differently is to make sure that uh, he pass on the button uh, a, a, at an earlier stage because he had run, he had ran his, uh, his race and one would have hoped that he should have uh, stepped down, gave the button to somebody else so that he finishes his race uh, strongly. So the only fault that we can give him at the moment is the failure for him to hand over the button at a time that uh, he was strong enough to cancel and also be part of the leadership collective. But circumstances then entailed that probably you would have needed to hold on and uh, lead uh, in front during the, uh, the policies of equal empowerment and emancipation which were at the forefront, particularly given that one of the most important things that um, people had gone to war for was the land reform which he wanted to see having been done up to a certain point. I guess the land reform intention was, was, was really uh, laudable, but the way things were then implemented uh, didn't really end, end up well for a lot of people. But uh, just very briefly, uh, uh, Mr. Mandaza, before you go, I just want to know from a ZANU-PF perspective, now the baton has been handed over, as you said, to Emerson Mnangaga, who's the current president of the country as well. But when you, as a governing party, as the liberators of Zimbabwe, saw those thousands and thousands of Zimbabweans celebrating Robert Mugabe's removal from power in November 2017, it must not have been a proud moment for you as a party. Um, we, 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 we must look uh, back and say what is it that led to that moment in, um, in 2017. I think there were quite a number of issues that were at stake and one of the things that the, the party itself was um, looking at was to make sure that we have leadership renewal. So as part of leadership renewal, self-correction, we took the route that uh, was supported by the generality of the people in Zimbabwe. And uh, we do not have any misgivings, having given the, uh, the former president um, 
a rest at a time when we felt that he needed to have that rest. The circumstances surrounding his removal is something else that people can debate on, but we believe that um, it was the right time as the party, and it was supported by the generality of the people, and we are happy that we have a president in uh, Comrade Emerson Munangagwa who is championing the same cause for which many of the Zimbabweans went to war and are still looking at, the, at realizing the aspirations of all the people that are in Zimbabwe. Thank you very much, Mr. Kennedy Mandaza, speaking on behalf of Zimbabwe's governing party, ZANU-PF.